Hello and welcome to Dwarf Fortress. I am Twisted Logic. This is part four of the tutorial for it. I'm recording back to back, so we're just picking up from where we just were. So yeah, we're gonna be building a pyramid down here. Kind of like an Aztec pyramid, so I'm gonna build, construct, wall. I think this is uh, this is about 14 away. I'm just gonna double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Shift Enter. Build ramp. And we're gonna expand this out. This right here. This we channeled down and built a floor over top of it. Willow log floor here. And right down here, fire clay. So this is outside, it's light, it's above ground. This is inside, light above ground. In here, we got inside dark and subterranean. Outside light above ground. So for all the dwarves that kind of stay subterranean, they're going to get um, cave adapted. What's going to happen is that when they go outside, they're going to kind of get sick and vomit. I have most of them kind of in and outside the fortress, so I don't think that happened yet. Otherwise, you'll start seeing like uh, just paths of vomit everywhere. So just go out in the sun and just start getting sick from the sun. I think I'm going to attempt to avoid that in this fortress. I'm going to use this as kind of a temporary area, and we're going to build the fortress here as a larger pyramid. As an Aztec pyramid, kind of. So build, construct, W. I want to just make sure that this is square. Yeah, so I built a trade depot here and then outlined it, uh, marked that off, and I'm, and I'm measuring off of there. I got the wall starting 15 blocks away from the depot. The depot is actually going to be up a few levels. The trade caravan is going to drive up the side of the fortress, and then we're going to have a bridge opening up there. Build, construct, wall. Okay, this is going to be kind of the footprint of it. We'll build bedrooms and stuff in here. We'll build a hall in here. We'll build the trade floor, uh, barrack. And we'll, yeah, we'll use this as a temporary fort and we're going to build this fort. And when it's starting to get ready, we'll move into that. But right now, I got to set up a burrow before anything really happens. So W for burrows. I'm going to mark off an area here. So add a burrow. And I'm going to go to burrow 1 and enter to define the burrow. And now I'm just going to, um, now I'm currently painting. So I'm just going to paint over the inside of this fortress. And what's going to happen is when I activate this burrow for the civilian alert, then the dwarves have to remain inside this burrow. And anything outside of the burrow, they're not going to be allowed to access it. And this is going to allow me to kind of tell them, hey, maybe you should seek some refuge inside the fortress while something's attacking us. Did I miss anything? go up the stair here too. That's gonna, uh, so I'm gonna press R. Now I'm currently erasing. Right there. Okay. So if I have a, the same burrow in there, and then I, I build a small piece out here. Then they'll be able to transition between 
if it's the same burrow. R for racing, get rid of that. And then military alert. And I'm gonna press C to add an alert. Rename this, shift end. Just like that. And then I'm gonna press left, enter on burrow one. And now when I set the civilian alert here to get inside, burrow one's gonna be active for civilians. And they are gonna all make their way to this area. The lever is gonna be then pulled and the fortress is gonna be closed off. Some more migrants, excellent. Need more migrants. We'll just, I'll look at those in Dwarf Therapist. Yeah, I'll let them get settled. Build, construct, ramp. So now I'm going to need a bigger sleeping area for them. I'm just going to come up this up downstair. And I will dig off a... Um, set these two up as um, dormitories. Dormitories is kind of like this common sleeping area, like this one right here, where they kind of hot rack, so they can one can sleep, leave, and then somebody else can come in and sleep in the same area that they were just in. Alright, so I need to... I'm going to dig H for channel. I'm just going to dig another, another hole right there, so I can have another dwarf come in and start dumping water. Same with this one. Dig H and then set the priority to 1. The plus and minus. Down here by the, um, right by my little uh, red mage subscribe button. So subscribe if you enjoy, if you want to see more. That bell, hit the thumbs up. <laughs> there we go, so I'm going to I to set in another zone. Enter, enter. P, shift P, F. And I just did that without looking. I. Okay, so now we should have two dwarves on each farm. So they pour the water in and then the water dries up, it evaporates, and uh, mud piles left behind. And that's what we're going to be building the farm plot on. I'm going to take a look at those migrants now in Dwarf Therapist. Okay, so read and then right here total assigned laborers I'm going to sort this by migration wave so we got our first seven our first migration wave and then our second migration wave here autumn okay spring summer autumn it's currently autumn well this guy right here knows carpentry bowery woodcutter Line making, spinning, architecture. I'm just going to think about what I want to set here.
I'll just set it like this just for now. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be making the builders, the stewards. Then I'm also gonna have some weapon and armor smith, and the stewards are gonna split off to be some of them are gonna I'm gonna split off to be leather working. I wanna get this guy leather working right here. I wanna start getting them leather working too, so I'm gonna build a leather working workshop. You can build all the workshops kind of like this in their own little box. And if I get a strange mood that I can't, um, that I don't have the material for, I can lock that door and then, you know, let them starve them out. But, uh, I'm just gonna go like this for now because that's, that's the wrong one, that's L. I think it's E for leather worker. Build W. Build W, E, there we go. Let's make a leather stockpile right there. Settings, a bit, uh, disable leather, D. So I got zero oil idlers right now, everybody's working. I'm just gonna pause the video until either something happens or um, or these um, farms are full and I'm ready to do some more stuff. Okay, so I can, this one here, I can turn off the I can turn off the ponds. So this one here, I and X. And just click there, click there. Then build construct floor right there. I don't want logs. Build construct floor. I want uh, granite blocks. Floor. And so the difference between granite blocks and granite is that the granite's kind of rough, like kind of like this one, this one here. That's fillite, but it's rough. The blocks are going to be the blocks are going to be transported more quickly. They're easy to carry, and they're also um, going to build a little quicker. I'm going to build nest boxes down in here. So that way these turkeys will start laying eggs. And then build P for a farm plot and expand it with U and K. Enter. Now we can get the stewards kind of doing something. I guess I can also make a door right there. And that can come out to make it a little bit more efficient. So that farm plot is done. So over here on the menu here, I have it selected. Go down to plump helmets, click enter. And I'm in autumn right now. So I wanna to go to D for winter. Also plump helmets. B for summer. Also plump helmets and A for spring. Also plump helmets. So they are um, picking fruit over here in this zone. I'm going to press X and then just remove this part of the zone here. So they're picking fruit and, and kind of plants over here off the ground and they're also brewing that into alcohol and now we have the mushrooms as well. Looks like they are um, 
planting seeds right now. I build construct wall. WM, a second mason shop right here. The dark green, they're not going to be able to walk on top of. So these two tables here and this table, they're not going to be able to walk through that. The light green here, they can walk through that space. here I'm gonna add trousers repeat alt W shift A make this like uh, two to four also gonna add um, gloves gonna make the item so they're gonna make the um, trousers they're gonna put it into the finished good stockpile that has that enabled um, if a dwarf needs it he's gonna go claim it and then that's no longer gonna be counted in the two to four range once it's once it's claimed so it's gonna be two to four on hand Gem stockpile, gem stockpile. E. I'm just gonna put that like there. Just clean up some of that. I think there's a door there, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Farmer's workshop here, add. Repeat. Hold W, Shift A. Cheese of any material. And I'm just going to set this pretty high. So 999 to 1000. Cheese, repeat. And this way, I any milk that I get through trading, I don't normally milk the animals, but if I buy milk barrels, the milk barrels are going to come in, and then at the farmer's workshop here, they're going to turn into cheese. At the kitchen here, I'm going to... I'm going to make a maybe a fine meal to start with, so be fine meal. Repeat. So this is going to make a stew. 
Make maybe um, 30 to 45. The biscuits, so the easy meal is the biscuit, and um, they eat it and they like it. It's okay. The fine meals, they're going to, I think, start getting happy thoughts around, like, the, there's probably, like, a couple points of, uh, you know, hey, I ate a fine meal recently. And then the lavish meal, they're going to get a lot of fine, po they're going to get a lot of um, happy thoughts about it. What is happening here? I want to... See, they're all hanging out in the um, meeting hall here because I don't really, that's the only location I have set up. I want to set up another location. So, let's set a zone like here. Make this a meeting spot. L for location. Add location. Oh, craft guild halls are new. So T for temple and no specific deity. Yeah, this is, um, I did read a little bit about the update, the, um, guild halls and the, um, the guild halls and the villains, this is the villain update. Um, I read a little bit about it, but, uh, I like to be surprised with some things as well. I put that bed in the wrong spot. So now if I lock this door, if I keep these doors open to the turkeys, um, they're going to come in and collect the eggs every once in a while and make an egg barrel. I lock these doors and make it not pet passable so a cat doesn't like walk in there. And they're just going to start laying eggs, but nobody's going to collect them. And then we're going to get an explosion of baby hens and chicken, baby hens and um, turkey gobblers. start smooth stoning start smoothing some stone but in the farm area here I don't want to smooth the floor because that I think that gets rid of the mud floor so I'm just gonna do the walls inside there just leave the floor alone and this one here I can now um, turn the zones off so I X to remove zone and then build construct floor there and there.
25 blocks. To be making some armor stands next. The nobles are going to need, the nobles are going to require armor stands and weapon racks. And we're also going to be needing those armor stands and weapon racks for the barracks. So I have buckets, I need um... dig that corner yet but I'm gonna dig over to it and then I'm gonna see where I want to put it now I put the well right here so I want a small reservoir here ish so maybe what I'll do is um because you don't want this um you want like kind of like the most direct path so you don't want to dig it this with like a lot of turns and everything like that you don't um, so we don't want to do that like that we kind of just want to shoot up the street and then right over to it it out. Then when you're ready, just dig that corner. And so the corner is, when you have a corner like that, it's going to equalize the pressure to that level. That resets the top level of the water. enough work for the miners to do then they would do it in that order but he's in one path and he's in another path so just to be safe okay so they finished clearing the stone out and I added these two doors this tunnel and another door here 
Now the doors are going to control flooding as well. So when I go to... I'll dig this now. Somebody's coming along. It's flashing. You can do this with water safely. Just pop it like that and he'll go. Now this door is going to stop the water from turning this way. With lava it's a little bit differently. And also this isn't the safest way to do water. The monsters will be able to swim into the fortress in this way. If I were to put a grate here, like a floor grate. So if I dug in this way, then there, before I filled it up with water, put a grate there. So deconstruct the stairs and build a wall there. Now when the monsters are swimming up, they're going to hit the ceiling. The ceiling is the grate, but I didn't put that in. So this isn't the safest fortress it could be. Another thing about mining. I go to designation and mine. Now I could mine in big blocks like that, right? But I could also go to D for mine and then A to designate all. Auto mining ores and gems. Designating ores and gems. Designating gems. Designating all. So designating all, then you can just go like that. Designating ores and gems. It's only going to do those two. That's auto mining. And so I'm going to show you now. So designations. And we have auto mining ores and gems. And we're just going to click that wall like that. And unpause it. And now he's going to follow. The, they're going to follow the veins of those. The silver veins and the gems. Water's going to take a little bit to fill up, but above it, I'll just dig this out a little bit more. See, I tried to dig, but auto mining still on, so I'm going to press A back to designations all. Dig that out a little bit. Make a little room. We'll make this into a temple or something too. That size. And then right here, just dig that out a little bit more. L, so uh, I'm going to make a well right here, and that's um, lowercase l. Enter, and I'm going to need blocks, at least one block. I'm going to need a bucket, so at least one bucket. And I'm going to need a rope, so at least one rope. And then also a mechanism. Now I'm going to need like more rope or chain or something to make the second well underneath it. And one well can go through another one. And then I'm going to set this zone, I'm going to set a zone here as the water source. And as long as I did this water right here, um, it's not going to come up through this hole. If it starts to come up, I'll just build a door here just in case. Let's build a door right there just in case it, uh, I didn't do the water right and it starts flooding out this room. So if you're unsure about water, then just do a flood control door. And I do need some more stone. So I'm just going to strip mine this area here. getting a bunch of silver, so I want to start smelting soon. like this, the last material that you use to build the wall is going to be at the top of the list here regardless of its distance.
Okay, so I laid out the base of the uh, pyramid that we're going to be building here. I got ramps along the outside. I got um, upstairs in the center. This is marked off. Um, this floor, I'm not sure if we're going to keep that or not. And we got walls along the inside of the ramp. And then I'm just going to build... And I'm just going to build another ramp on the inside here, just so that way they can get in and out at the center. Our well's done here, so I'm going to press I for zones. I'll just go there. And W for water source. That's going to take a little bit to fill still. And thank you very much for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more. Thank you.